Well, listen up, Rangers. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Ernest. And today in the Zone Report review, we have the Ultraman Rising, Ultraman and Gigantron no. from Bandai Namco. Read it again, Steve. Gigantron. Gigantron. Yeah. Gigantron. He belonged in that movie. He was just cut out, you know, budget. I'm pretty sure it's Gigantron. Nope. Gigantron. I thought it was Gigantron. <laughs> oh, that's even better. Gigantron. <laughs> Gigatron. <laughs> when I first got it. <laughs> Looks like a Yu uh, monster Yu-Gi-Oh would summon to battle. Oh, it kind of does, to be honest. <laughs> Gigantron. <laughs> Gigatron. It's like, this is like, because oh, in Yu-Gi-Oh, they would have like monster number one. Yes. So this would be like Gigantron. God, you got me saying it now. Gigantron <laughs> number one. And this would be like Gigantron number 13. And then we still need a bigger one because why is he shorter than Ultraman? You have activated my trap card, Gigatron. <laughs> Anyways, we'll get into these, but without further ado, for the packaging, I like the packaging more than I do like the Godzilla ones that we just did. Yeah, at least it's not the same. I also like that you actually see Gigantron on the box here, then it has Gigatron. Ultraman. Uh, it also comes with a card. I'm not going to really worry about the card, but it comes with a card. Are you going to keep the boxes? Um, They're probably going to go back in the boxes. Oh, too sh okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Oh, spoiler alert, but other ones in the line. I didn't end up picking up the Ultraman. I got enough original Ultramans that I don't really need an extra one. I was gonna say you didn't co complete the set, Steve. That's I have a figure. Like I have an autographed figure arts. I have their Figma. Or not, I have an autographed Ultra Act. I have the figure arts. I have little. I, I don't need them anymore. Um, but anyways, also yeah, these are unimportant reviews. They go up on our Patreon advance. Forgot to mention that earlier. You guys like to help donate. Ultraman. Same package, just only Ultraman. Again, has a little card it's in the back. Already bag. different. Previous. Which, which is funny because, again, Godzilla, I didn't get a card. There's no cards in these boxes. Nothing. Where's my Godzilla card? I don't. I, I get Ultraman cards. They spend extra money on cardboard to get me that thing. It would be nice to get like a little Godzilla card, though, you know? It's even like. With these dudes in particular. For instance, oh he God. comes with three accessories. He needs a cheeseburger, Steve. Where you get <laughs> Emery, who is imposable. It just stands there, stoically. But painted really nice. Yeah, it's, like got, it's got Yeah, the eyes have two colors. You got some yellow for the beak, for the fins. Detailing, solid. There's even a little detailing on this. Like, this, like why is this tiny little thing even better detailed than the Godzilla's? <laughs> I don't understand. Comes with the Spectium disc. I'm just gonna call this the Spectium Punch. It kind of looks like those old Hulk hands. They always see at like the toy stores that never sold. And it just clips onto his fist. So now he can punch punch. Poor Hulk. Also comes with the Spectium disc, which clips onto his hand. And you can just move the fingers, which I'm still trying to figure out why it has articulated fingers. I can't have articulated waist or neck, but it has separate <laughs> finger I was going to say, does he hold something? Maybe it's got a meaning to the movie or... Uh, I, I think I could have lived... If they were... Because what it is, is you have punching hand and then you have open hand, right? Yeah. So it gives you more options. That's great. But I don't... Do they really need to be separated? I'm nitpicking here, but it's one of those things that's like... They spent extra engineering on this section, but couldn't give me a, t a tum tum. Tum tum. Well, look how skinny he is. If they gave him an articulation, he would break in half. Figure Arts did. Which is kind of funny because this thing looks like. It, this, this looks like the Figure Arts, but with just less joints. A lot less joints, actually. Also, some paint because of the back. Of course, the back's just red. Very, like. Ultraman action figure esque, where they just like all the detailing and paint is spent on the front of the figure, and then they just kind of gave up <laughs> for the back region. But you do see the lining for the suit at least, and some copyright information above his booty. It's got a little tramp stamp hanging out back there. But anyways, for the articulation, I get these off his head, ball joint, so it rotates all the way around. Quite a bit of play, but nothing too crazy. Arms are on a hinge, so they go up, down, rotate all the way around. Um, 
Oddly not a ball joint though. Like it is just a, a single hinge there. I didn't notice that when I was messing with it earlier. Between like the rotation at the bicep, you still get about the same amount of play. About keyword. But I think if this was a ball joint and then they just kept a solid, you still would get about the same, same thing. Of, yeah, you'd be close. Um, single Why jointed is his elbow. Neck so long, Steve. It wasn't the anime. Hands rotate. Fingers on the hinge. Single jointed knee. Reminds me of that dinosaurs from the land before. Uh... A brontosaurus. Yeah. A little bit. But yeah, I know. You can see even on here, his neck's kind of oh, elongated. God. I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know. Yeah, well, he's like a, the guy that is Ultraman. He was a baseball player. So he's kind of like, he's like a home run hitter. So he's like bigger upper body, lower body, not so much. Like he skips leg day a lot. I can tell by that figure. <laughs> but overall, details, solid. Paint job, solid. Comes with accessories. 25 solid. bucks. Again, feels a little rough for what I got here. But this is more acceptable than I feel with the Godzilla's because at least like it looks like it's like I the looks wise most everything's here. It represents what it is to a good point. I get some extra stuff. Pretty solid. This guy, honestly, in terms of detailing, the best one out of the bunch. Yeah. Because the coloring on him is really good. It's even got some airbrushing on the tail and the wings. They skimped out on the articulation, so they gave you an extra paint job. Yeah, like this guy, I think, standing on my shelf is probably the best one. Uh, but it's just like, for the articulation, it's only got ball joints on the arms. When you get this out of the box, too, you will have to assemble it. Kind of reminds me of Pat Bismol. Yeah, kind of with the colors. Yeah. The leg's a ball joint, <laughs> but you get some forward and back. Okay, it's got just rotation explain, the that, explain that articulation to me, Steve, because I'm stupid at the bottom of his foot. It's just so you can pose the feet. You only turn it left and right. Yeah. To, to... Maybe you need it like more outwards or something. I ain't fudging. No, he gave us joints there. Why does he have posable fingers? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Touche. <laughs> Why does this mouth go wherever I feel like it needs to go? <laughs> yeah, you should articulate. Why is it just a hinge? Nobody knows. You should articulate those ears, you know, so you can adjust them, make them look good. He's also got three joints for the neck. Yeah. Oh, well, this joint doesn't really... Does it do anything, or is it a fake joint? Oh, oh there it is. It's just stuck. Oh. <laughs> you decapitated him. It's fine. Actually, I think it's a her. It. Whatever. We don't know what it is. We'll call it it. Oh, God. Yeah, it likes to pop apart. <sighs> Be careful with it. But anyways, my biggest gripe about this is... Size comparison is great. More of this. Like, I've, did I know what I was buying when I got into this? Yeah, I knew it was going to be smaller. But it's just... it's Like that much smaller, though? It's just kind of weird that they didn't decide to just give us a big version. Like, this is like a deluxe. To go along with anything. It's just kind of here. Which this... Like, this scaling screams child's action figure, right? Yeah. But again... This hangs out with all the collectibles in the target sections. And I don't understand why. Because <laughs> like, sitting over there makes, again, makes me feel like... It's a trap. It's for adults. But maybe, but in all actuality, it's the adults in the adult action figure section, which is an odd thing to say, to be honest. But... It is over there. <laughs> so they're like, oh, this would be great for my kid. They don't have to leave one section. It's like convenient. But in all actuality, they stick it over there. So I feel like they give it more of a premium price when it didn't really need to have a premium price. I feel like they were just, never mind. At least they could hold hands now. Yeah. Um, so in all actuality, I, I do like these better than I liked the Godzilla ones. Like, just what they come with, the posability, the detailing, they are superior, I feel like. But in that regards, are they worth grabbing? If you like the movie, honestly, I'd say these are solid. But you have to really like the movie. I've never seen a movie, so I can't say so. To me, I feel like this was a waste of time. 
But a holding hand pose, that's very cute, Steve. I, I really like that. Was this best friend. To be, oh! to, to be fair, I almost like this better than the figure arts. Just because it comes with extra stuff. Like, the basic figure arts you can buy in stores, that's just Ultraman, Time Indicator, some extra hands and stuff. Yeah. I'm honestly, I think I'm happier having this in the collection, just because it mainly comes with Emery and some extra stuff, and I saved myself 10, 15 bucks. Yeah. Well, with that Ultraman, I feel like I need extra things to really make it more worthwhile. And because of the size, like, again, just didn't, didn't feel like I should have been spending as much there either. Which has kind of been a trend lately. It feels like as, a, as we get older, I think we get more picky, or it's just companies are getting worse. Yeah, I think it's more of an economy thing right now, because it's just everything, like... All the action figures are going up in price, but they're still staying the same or... Quality or worse. Or getting worse <laughs> in some aspects. We're not going to mention any 2004 Godzilla. Yeah. So, like I said, they're, like, borderline cool. Great for kids. Honestly, I'd be kind of afraid of, this, like, this Ultraman in particular for kids because I feel like this could break pretty easy. Oh, look at his legs. That's like two toothpicks. Yeah. I'd, I wouldn't give this to a small child. Nope. Your daughter would destroy that. Yeah, Casey would have this thing broken in probably like two seconds. Oh, yeah. And then be chewing on his <laughs> severed carcass. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I know he's hoping to beat those guys just by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a Ranger Dave. Also, Instagram, Patreon, TikTok, Facebook. Guys, I'll keep up the video. Channel. Donate greatly. Would appreciate it. Again, if you guys like to pick these up for yourself, link in the description for Entertainment Earth. Go help support the channel. Get yourself some okay figures. Okay is the key word. Okay figures. I'm more excited for they have the Mecha... Gigantron, going up for pre-order from Figure Arts. That one looks sweet. You gonna get it? Good possibility. I haven't ordered it yet, but it's a good possibility. But anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Bye. -bye.